So now let's see how to use the Mail app inside of Microsoft Windows 10. So to access the Mail app, you can go over here onto the bottom where there's the Mail or if you don't see that right here, you can go to the Start menu onto the M section right over here. So let's just scroll down and on the M section, you'll be able to find Mail or you can just type it in and search it from the Cortana search as well. So I'm just going to go over here and click on Mail. Once I open that up, you can see that the Mail app opens up and it uh, has my account right over here, my personal email address, and all of the emails are right over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new account so that I can start working with it. And to add in a new account, I can go to settings right over here. And from settings, I'm going to go to manage accounts. And over here, you can see that there's an option to add account. So let me just add in an account right over here and it asks me uh, which type of account is it. So is it Outlook, Office 365, or like Google, Yahoo, and so forth. So you can just type in your email address and it'll get synced up in the mail app. So I'm going to go over here and click on Outlook.com because that is where my email address is from. So once I do that, it lets me wait for just a moment and here I'm able to type in my email address. So I'm going to type in my email address right over here tutor2 at outlook.com just like this so i'm just going to type in my email address i'm going to click on next right over here and i'm going to enter my password and i'm going to click sign in once i do that it'll uh it'll actually sync up my email address that is my email account with the mail app inside of windows and now you can see uh says we need to fix your microsoft Account, most likely password has changed. Okay, sometimes that happens. But anyways, uh, to easily secure, it says that I can add in more security, but I'm just going to press OK right over here. So uh, I need to add in my pin. So I'm just going to add in my pin right over there. That's the computer, the computer pin. And it creates my account just like that. And it's all done as you can see. So now I can see two accounts on my left. So that's my personal account and to YouTube account, just like that. So now I can go over here, click on this account, and I'll be able to see all of the mails for that particular account. So over here, you can see that as I go in, this is my inbox. I only have one mail here because this is a new account. And you can see the blue bar right over here. In my personal account, you can see that I have blue bar on this account right over here on the left. Okay, because that mail is unread. But if I were to uh, go over here, there's this blue account as well. As I click on it, it opens up the mail for me. And over here, you can see that now, if I were to click away, click back, the blue bar is gone. That is because I already read the email. So if I were to actually go over here, I already read the email. So once I open up the email, I have a few setup options. So I can flag the mail. So it mar marks it as important, just like that. You can clear out the fact as well. You can delete it. You can archive it, meaning uh, it'll be stored in your account, but you won't be seeing that in your inbox. You can forward it to someone. So you, if you click forward, you can type in some other email address and you can forward it. I'm just going to discard it now. Discard, that is, uh, it discards the message. I can reply to it, reply all and reply. So if I were to click reply all, if there are multiple email addresses, it's the mail is sent to a group, then it'll set the address for all of them and it'll reply to it. I'm just going to discard this as well. And reply only replies to the main sender and not the other recipients. So it only replies to the main sender. So I'm just going to discard this as well. So just like that, this is how you can read and reply to emails just like that. There's other type of emails as well. So if there's any other emails like spams or anything else, it will actually be located right here. You want to delete the email, you can actually go over here and then delete this out. So you can delete the item and the mail will be deleted just like that. So now let's talk about how to create and send emails. So to do that, I should select the email address which I want to send an email from and I can click on new mail. Once I do that, new mail has been uh, made and over here you can see this. So you can also click on this icon and that opens up the new mail window on a new window. I can just close this out as well. Let's just create a new mail and I'm just going to work around right here. So I can type in the email address where I want to send just like that over here and then add in a subject 
adding some lines over here and then format it. So if you're used to Microsoft Office, then you can actually relate to that. If you haven't seen my Microsoft Office tutorial, then you can actually see it on my playlist. You can uh, view a tutorial on Microsoft Word, which will get you familiar with all of these options for tables, for draw and everything else right here as well. Or you can also see my OneNote tutorial, which uh, you can relate to uh, this easily as well. So all the formatting options. So just like this, you can see that I can uh, type in email and everything. I can format it and I can hit send and it'll send the email uh, to the recipient. But over here, you can see that there's a sort of a signature which says send uh, from mail for Windows 10, which I normally don't want. And maybe I want to change the signature. In that case, you can go to the settings right over here and you can change the signature out. So you, once you go to the setting, you can see on the right hand side, there's the signature setting. So yeah, I can just click on it. And here, this is the default signature sent from mail for Windows 10. So uh, I can add in something like with love tutor tube as my signature, just like that. So I can apply to all account or just the Outlook 2. So I just want to apply this to Outlook 2. And maybe uh, I want to uh, like make this a red color, red tint, and I'm going to press OK. So once I do that, uh, what happens is that whenever I create a new mail now, it actually has this signature. Or if you want to remove the overall signature itself, you can simply go over here on to the signature and just disable this altogether, press save, press new mail, and there's no signature whatsoever. So besides that, you also see that there are other options like you can access the calendar from over here, just like that. You can access the calendar. You can access the people app over here as well. You can switch to to-do list and so forth. So all of the uh, links to other Windows application are located over here as well. And on the settings, you can go to manage accounts, of course, which we actually saw there's personal agent, uh, personalization options where you can select different colors for your mail, something like red, but you can personalize it. You can e even choose backgrounds right over here to actually personalize that out. So personalization settings is there. There's automatic replies. So uh, usually if uh, you have a ton of emails and you want to reply saying something like you want to enable automatic replies, then you can actually do that over here as well. So there's that uh, feature. Let's focus inbox right here. So you can sort out messages uh, in inbox. So these are some advanced features right over here. This message list that you can work reading pain and so forth. So all of the settings are here, which will help you personalize your emails even more. So if you have to go over here and if you have a ton of uh, other uh, messages, you can actually use the search bar over here as well and type in something like, let me say Outlook and it'll uh, list out all of the um, emails with Outlook on them. So uh, just like that, it'll list out all of the settings right over there. So that is how you can uh, use the mail app inside of Microsoft Windows 10. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.